What's happening? What's happening, faithful? Happy Saturday. It's a great day, man. Uh, the weekend is here. We're 24 hours, or well, basically less than that, 22 hours from the game against the Philadelphia Eagles. The 49ers coming to town. They're right now in West Virginia, out there at the Greenbrier that they talk about so much, getting ready for tomorrow's game. And I wanted to talk a little bit about Brandon Ayuk our, you know, supposed number two receiver and hopefully future number one receiver. But things haven't been working out like that this season. So there's been a, you know, a lot of information out there saying that maybe he was in the doghouse with the coaching staff and the uh, the team as a whole. But, you know, over the last week, Kyle Shanahan himself has come out and said that that's not the case, that he was injured, of course, or, you know, banged up a little bit. He had a hamstring issue at the end of camp. He didn't play in the final preseason game, and that's the reason why, uh, you know, Trent Sherfield was able to get a few more targets than himself and also, you know, have a really good game. Brandon Ayuk didn't even receive a target from Jimmy Garoppolo uh, in that first game. So it's been, you know, all week long a real big issue with whether or not he was, you know, being benched, whether he had fallen down a depth shot. So Kyle Shanahan came out. He said that himself. That's not the case. It's just that Trent Sherfield has played really well so far and then Brendan Ayuk had that injury issue so we all need to as of course yesterday John Lynch said you know pulling the car from Aaron Aaron uh, Rodgers I guess uh, he said that we all just need to relax R-E-L-A-X man uh, Brendan Ayuk is extremely talented he's gonna be all right um, John Lynch himself said yesterday again reiterated everything that you know Kyle Shanahan has been saying really for the last the last week or the last six days is that there was no issue with Brandon Ayuk. His exact quote from John Lynch actually was, Brandon Ayuk has done nothing wrong. Um, everyone needs to relax. And he's going to be expected uh, to be, anyway, the number one receiver at some point in his career. They still have those hopes for him. So I think he's going to have an outstanding game tomorrow. I think he's going to ball out. We're going to bust the Eagles' ass for sure. Uh, they do have an excellent defensive line. You know, They don't have the best you know, back seven. But that defensive line is tough. So tomorrow morning before the game, I'm going to do a little pregame video. But I really wanted to come out here and just kind of put it into the narrative that Grant Cohn specifically has been pressing. And, and we all know how Grant feels about this team. He's secretly a, a huge 49er fan. Um, you know, the, the sappy story he told about being eight years old and having – Steve Young signed his hat and he waited for Steve Young and Steve Young brought Jerry Rice out the locker room too and all this other crap. Uh, but then he consist consistently says that he's not a 49er fan and takes every opportunity he can to bash the team or create false narratives to hype up his YouTube channel. So, you know, you got to watch out for vipers and, and snakes and buzzards like him. You know what I mean? People that suck off uh, other people to... to to enrich and fulfill their life. So that's what he did, you know. And he did the same thing with it, really, with his father's career. He followed in his father's footsteps. So stop listening to Grant Cohn out there. And I mean that. I started watching him maybe about a year and a half ago, and I really started with a lot of interest in him. And I was really, really liking his videos. And he really helped, really inspired me to begin to start doing videos myself, you know. But nowadays, the fact that he's monetized and has been for a long time and he knows that controversy creates cash. He's going to talk shit about our team every chance he gets. Well, let me know what y'all think, man, about Brandon Nayuk. The fact that the coaches and, of course, John Lynch now are saying that there is no issue with him. He's done nothing wrong. He's not in the doghouse, as everyone keeps putting out there. He's going to be fine and the team is going to be fine. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to the video and the channel. Again, share it so that other people get a chance to hear the information about the Niners, too. Y'all be safe. Niner Ganger, don't bang.